manufacturing printed circuits by the method of screen printing. The technique most used in printed circuits industry is the screen. This way you can get good quality prints at very low cost. This printing system allows multiple copies of the same design making it ideal for mass production. Although it is still a manual process is one of the most used, allowing quality and presentation work necessary for commercialization. The frame. It is a rectangular wooden frame built with battens of 3 for 3 inches, which supports a fine silk, very warm and wrinkly free. We use a frame of 120 threads in which we all three yards are gonna be. The printed circuit board solder mask and mask components. Applying the emulsion. In a room where light does not come, mix 9 parts emulsion to 1 part bichromate or developer to obtain a uniform mixture. The mixture is spread along the seal using an emulsifier. It takes three or four layers of emulsion. The first layer is applied to the rear of the frame, excess emulsion is collected. Apply the second coat on the front. We apply the third coat. And we apply the last layer, reversing the direction of the frame. The emulsion should be applied evenly on the silk, bearing in mind that no gaps or bubbles are uncoated. Then, we dry the emulsion using a hair dryer to minimize drying time. Remember that the emulsion is light sensitive and will gradually harden. After drying the emulsion, place the rack on a table reveal it. We put on the back of the frame as a tights with printed designs. Remember to place the overhair on the opposite side, which will see the finished PCB. Fix it with a transparent adhesive tape. Now we turn to the frame. We place a thin phone. We put a glass seal covering the hole. We put weight on top to avoid separation of acetate, silk and glass. Developing of the emulsion. Exposed to ultraviolet light the overhead for 13 minutes. Remove the glass and foam. And remove the acetites. Immediately wash the frame on both sides with pressured water. After a few seconds it's observed as silk reveals the drawing of the PCB.
as the motion drops in areas where the light did not come because of the coverage of the acetate. The developer is the same according to the design. After processing silk, proceed to dry it with a hair dryer for 10 minutes. The silk is ready to print as many cards we want. Printing clues about Bakelite. Place the rack on a table, preferably glass. Fixing it with a press hinge allows the frame to lift easily, without moving from his position. Bakelite place just below the drawing of the circuit board and adjust it with adhesive tape. We put some stops so that the print does not run by clad side. We got the frame. We use UV ink of the silk making a path in the part before the drawing. Spread the ink, then draw with spatula squish or blade. Printed circuit design on the surface of the card. Notice how it should be printing. It should be flawless or spotting chips that may impair the form. Oven dry it. In the manufacture of printed inks are used to dry it when exposed to ultraviolet rays. Bakelite should be left at least 10 minutes printed in the oven. Revealed card. Once dry the ink comes the bait the card into ferric chloride. You can make a bowl using a small pump, which keeps moving ferric chloride. The corrosive action of ferric chloride acts on surfaces that are not covered by the ink, thus obtaining the printed circuit. When excess copper has been removed, remove the card from ferric chloride to prevent overcorrection. Wash the card, first with water, thereby removing ferric chloride. Then immerse in caustic soda dissolving water for a minute and brush until all the paint has fallen. After this wash again with water to remove the caustic soda. Then we dry the weld cards. Perforations. Holes are drilled all of the card using a drill or a model tool tree. It should have bits of different sizes as the legs of the components have different diameters. With a steel wool pad, remove the residues to make the perforations. Then, clean the card with a napkin. Printing the anti-solder. Anti-solder mask is applied in the same way that the tracks. We place the caps do not ruin the bakelite.
we got the frame. We applied a generous amount of solder UV paint. Spread the paint on silk. And several times we draw a string to give good protective coating. This painting protects the Cooper tracks, rust and possible charged circuits besides giving a good presentation. The soldier paint is drying UV rays, so the card should be baked for about 10 minutes. Mask printing components. To print the mask components, the card is placed on the opposite side of the tracks and adjusted with tape. Note that the holes must match the card with drawings of the components. We put some stop so the print does not run the bakelite of your side. We got the frame. We applied the white UV ink by the party of the silk. Spread the ink, then draw with the spatula or standard. Notice how it should be printing. must be perfect, as this phase indicates the correct position of each component. The paint used in industry to make the mask components is also drying UV rays, so the card should be baked for 10 minutes. On the side of the tracks, apply a mixture of rosin and thinner, which prevents oxidation of donuts and also gives a brilliant finish to the board. Now we have finished the printed circuit board, ready to assemble. We hope that this tutorial is useful for everyone. Success!